personally as a reporter on this and uh, say it's not just the right wing. Uh, there is a lot of this kind of emotional, there is only one way to look at this from the left. And uh, if we as a country have to face that, now Gene, you're disagreeing. Well, I, I'm the, you're getting a skeptical look because I, I Yes, there are extreme voices on the left. Um, I think I, I, I don't think this is an right or this left. is an equal balance thing. <laughs> I don't think this is. Um, I think because what you saw was the Republican Party writ large um, uh, basically losing its mind, but going becoming a Trumpist party um, and and adopting positions that establishment Republicans were horrified by. Um, very conservative establishment Republicans were horrified by. I don't well, and, see and, something equivalent happening all okay, the Okay, uh, absolutely a, a fair and provable point. Uh, and, and the question is, uh, with Ginny Thomas and Mark Meadows and so forth, are they fringe representatives or do they represent what you're talking about? Uh -huh. And I, I think there's a little of both. And uh, but I, I just think it would be a mistake to to say this is only the Republicans and Trump. But Joe. you're absolutely right. They got their president and. Yeah. Evidence that Robert Costa and I have uh, Trump is going to run again. And uh, that may change. That may not happen, obviously. But uh, the number 73 million is a big number. It's a big number. And a lot of them are there for him. So that's different. But now Biden, I'm going back to this, Biden has that on his shoulders in a very important way for this country. Joe? But, but, but Gene, I, I, I just want to follow up with you, Gene. Um, yeah. You know, over the last year or two, mm -hmm. I have been critical of the left because they're going for 6.6 .6 build back better uh, instead uh, 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 price tags instead of a 3.1. All right. We're talking about fiscal matters. OK, so that's on the left. Let's talk about yeah. on the right. That's right. And, and by the way, even if you want to go to the social issues, yeah. the 0.003% of the population that's transgender, that, that, that people say they now want to be friends with Vladimir Putin and Orban because of 0.003% of the population. Okay, so that's the left. Uh, that, that, that makes conservatives so crazy they start moving to Hungary mm -hmm. and worshiping Orban and Putin. On the right, though, Gene, you're a a absolutely right. We have, by the way, this is uh, Donald Trump has the highest approval rating in that Republican Party. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. Jenny Thomas and the then chief of staff of the White House. What are they talking about? Are they talking about fiscal issues? Are they talking about social right. issues that can be debated? No, they're talking about overthrowing a duly elected mm -hmm. president of the United States, arresting him, arresting his family, putting them on a barge to stand trial off of Guantanamo Bay. Yeah. There is, uh, that is a false That's, equivalency. Yeah, and the while, there are can, that, while there are progressives, while there are progressives that, that on, 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 on certain policy issues are not uh, mainstream, with the rest of the American people. Uh, I do not see leaders of the Democratic Party saying Biden crime family and ballot fraud co-conspirators elected are gonna be put on a barge, bureaucrats, social media censorship <laughs> monitors, fake media reporters, 
are being arrested and detained for ballot fraud right now. And over the coming days, says the wife of a Supreme Court justice to the chief of staff of a Republican president who is trying to defraud the American people and still the presidency and will be living in barges off Gitmo to face military tribunals for sedition. If there is a parallel with any Democratic leader in Washington, D.C., let me know right now. Okay, I, yeah, I, can, can I, 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 right. I mean, what's, what's so great to hear is your passion, Joe. And, no, no, uh, it's the truth. But, I could have yeah, said okay. that very quietly. Not, it's the uh, truth.